Hi, I'm Joe Navarro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about something serious and I talked about it in my book, Dangerous Personalities. And it's about those individuals who are highly toxic because they are so emotionally unstable. Now, these individuals have uh, these traits that we need to be aware of uh, because they grind us down. We constantly have to be cautious around them uh, because of the way they emotionally uh, deal with us, not on a cognitive level, but on an uh, unstable emotional level. So uh, first on the list is if you feel you have to be cautious around someone because emotionally they're always changing, uh, that's one of the first uh, traits. Uh, if you feel like um, you have to constantly be on eggshells around them. I, I've had children uh, say, you know, when, when my mom gets up, I, I need to be careful what mood she's in and so forth. Um, that is uh, another example of what victims often feel, like they have to walk on the uh, proverbial uh, eggshells to, uh, to be around them. And obviously, if you feel drained uh, anytime you're dealing with uh, uh, these individuals, uh, even in, in a dating uh, uh, situation, I've often heard people say, oh, I just can't relax around this, uh, this guy when we go on dates. They just drain me. All the energy that I have to put into uh, maintaining that relationship, those are clues of the traits that these individuals have, which in the aggregate, you know, I talked about this with the uh, uh, narcissistic personality, that we at any time can have some of these traits, but individuals who have this uh, vast constellation of uh, traits in the aggregate um, are severely flawed of character and the emotionally unstable uh, truly uh, satisfies that. The, um, their mood swings uh, can be very dramatic. Uh, I've, I've heard victims say that uh, they are in fact very scary, how everything can go from everything is okay to all of a sudden they're uh, being uh, lashed out. Um, oftentimes they're known for uh, having had uh, very unstable uh, relationships. And uh, this is often known uh, from friends uh, or even their own self-reporting where they talk about how many uh, relationships uh, that, that they've had. This uh, instability, in fact, is often as a result of the fact that they're so emotionally unstable that uh, people could just give up. Uh, it, it, they just, they're drained uh, emotionally. Um, these individuals may talk about being pervasively empty, that they don't feel very much, that their life has no meaning, that uh, their life has no consistency, that they don't know where, where, they're, uh, where they're going. And uh, that has to be factored in. And that's why I say when, when dealing with the emotionally unstable, just be aware that these are individuals that are flawed of character and need help. They need medical help from professionals. Neither you nor I can fix them. There is no pill uh, that uh, 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 can, can fix them. Um, they are very needy and often require a lot of attention. Um, in fact, that's one of the things that uh, uh, the victims that I talked to uh, when I was doing my research for the book talked about is just how needy uh, these individuals were. Even though they are adults, uh, they have a, a, uh, a necessity to even have children uh, fawn over them, adore them, and, uh, and be attentive to them. And uh, of course, children often find this uh, a, a horrible experience, which uh, they talk about later in, in, in their life about just how difficult it was to deal with a very needy mother or a very needy uh, father. Uh, 
one of the, the severe traits these individuals have is they are very impulsive. And uh, all of a sudden, uh, they may just get up, drop everything, and leave. And uh, sometimes in the, in, the, in the media, you hear about someone that decided to go dancing for two days and uh, left their children behind or uh, didn't make any arrangements for food and, and uh, so forth. Uh, their impulsiveness drives their behavior, uh, which uh, at times is both unethical and can be uh, uh, criminal. And of course, it can expose others to, uh, to, to danger. Um, uh, in many cases, these individuals uh, have and have been described as having anger issues. And you have to be cautious with that because you often hear people say, well, he has anger issues. Yeah, but what other issues do they have? Do they have these mood swings and, and are they impulsive? Because um, anger issues is one of the traits um, and uh, they can just come across very suddenly, uh, almost vicious like. And you, you ask yourself, where's that coming from? You need to be attentive to uh, uh, when that anger uh, percolates and, and see what's behind it. Because uh, for these individuals, the anger is out of proportion to whatever the offense was. Always remember that. Their anger is always out of proportion to what the event uh, was. Um, these individuals, uh, as I said, need help. Uh, because they're often uh, uh, thinking, ideating about suicide. Uh, they may be talking about how worthless their existence is and so forth. So it's a, it's a serious matter. Um, and we need to be uh, uh, attentive to that because all of a sudden they'll just drop that on you. One of the other traits that they have is that they are risk takers. Um, it, you know, right up there with impulsiveness is this ability to uh, do risky things with drugs, with alcohols, with uh, unprotected sex, uh, with uh, doing things that uh, may be illegal. And for the emotionally unstable, uh, risk taking uh, is, uh, is something that is uh, permissible. Um, they're often described as very mercurial. So their, uh, their mood swings, their emotions are up and down, up and down, and it can range uh, from being very kind and sweet one second to this uh, emo emotional uh, rage uh, that uh, it has been described as, uh, as frightening. And they can be very aggressive both in their tone and in their demeanor uh, when they are in, uh, in one of these uh, uh, mood swings. Um, they can be very manipulative. They know how to play two roles, uh, the queen or the king, or uh, they are the victim. And so they manipulate uh, the individuals around them uh, often uh, talking about how uh, difficult their life is and how uh, everybody's against them. And they have been known to manipulate uh, others by saying, oh, I'm pregnant with your child. We need to get married and, and, and other um, uh, tricks like that. At the same time, uh, they're also known for their wound collecting. And I've written extensively about wound collection, both in the book, Dangerous Personalities, and for Psychology Today. Wound collecting is, uh, is, is a psychological feature where the individual actually looks for and seeks uh, for uh, mistakes that people make, for um, uh, grievances, that uh, are just part of life. Uh, they're accidental events. Maybe something is said. Maybe there's a bad experience, but they seek these and hang on to them. They don't forget and they don't forgive. And I've, I've been told by the victims that six months, seven months, five years later, 
these individuals who are emotionally unstable will bring up things from the past, uh, almost as, as if there's no statute of limitation on their suffering and grieving. And they use that to uh, manipulate. Uh, which, uh, again, uh, contributes to failed relationships because who wants to live with or work with someone who is constantly uh, keeping tabs on things that have happened uh, in, in the past? At the same time, these individuals are frantic about a life partner leaving them. They are constantly looking for signs that they are going to be abandoned. Uh, fear of abandonment is one of those traits that jumps out at you in, in when these individuals are in an interpersonal relationship. It is a topic that is often brought up. It is something that uh, becomes a part of that existence which is, I feel like you're leaving me. I feel like you're not attentive to me anymore. I feel like things are changing. And then it contrasts uh, with wanting to be isolated. So uh, sometimes they want all this heavy attention, and then other times they just uh, want uh, to be isolated. And, and people around them feel like, well, I, I can't get through to you. Um, the other uh, trait that I would say that jumps out is these individuals are not anchored in reality. Um, they, uh, they tend to lie. Uh, they tend to exaggerate. They tend to view the world through their own warped prism, uh, which can be very emotionally charged. And so uh, even in a work setting, uh, a lot of times uh, you'll have a uh, emotionally unstable person report on something that happened at work and everybody that was there says that's not how it happened and it's because they have a warped view uh, of uh, uh, the world um, the other thing that that stands out uh, about the emotionally unstable is uh, what is often referred to in psychology as splitting psychological splitting um, is almost childlike it's, it's almost like uh, the, the, uh, the two-year-old that uh, turns away from the mother and says, I don't love you anymore. Well, that's just silly talk, right? It's childlike. Not for these individuals. The emotionally unstable split, and in an instant, they can go from uh, valuing you to devaluing you. Suddenly, you are out. Uh, in an instant... Uh, they don't care about you, uh, and uh, they don't hesitate to terrorize you uh, vocally uh, and with some of the things that, uh, uh, that they do just because of some minor event. Uh, and it can be something, as uh, one victim told me, uh, I said something to my wife, and the next minute uh, she is ripping uh, through the closet with a pair of scissors cutting uh, my clothes. And uh, as shocking as that sounded, uh, and I said, well, how long did that take? And he said, seconds. Uh, it was just that fast that he went from being valued to uh, being devalued. So that's one of the things that, uh, that stands out is how they split. Value you one minute and then devalue you completely without consideration of past history. These traits uh, brought together... Uh, you can see that uh, make for individuals that are really troubled, really flawed of character. Uh, I have experienced this um, uh, both with uh, women and with men. With men, it is even more frightening because of testosterone. Because not only do you have to deal now with this rage, but you may have to deal with uh, this individual who is uh, very masculine, very powerful, and, uh, and testosterone really uh, complicates uh, this uh, type of personality. If you're interested in knowing more about the emotionally unstable, uh, take a look at uh, the very robust uh, list of traits, uh, over 100 traits, that is in the book Dangerous uh, Personalities.
So I hope this has shed some light uh, on, uh, on individuals that can be very problematic. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please subscribe. Please ring the bell so that um, you can ensure to get these uh, in the future. And I look forward to answering your questions and sharing my experiences with you. Thank you.